Hello there and welcome to a Jory Giant Veg. It's um it's a couple of days after Christmas. I'm just down the plot now. As you can see, we've had a nice frost down here. I'll show you. There's a uh, there's plenty of ice about. Um and I'm just showing you my half plot I've been given. This was on here already, but I'm gonna take the cover off that um and give it back to the old owner. This is what's happened. The, it was a full plot, as you can see, it's quite a big plot. And what they've decided to do is they've cut it in half and they've given me this section here, this big part here. So I'm going to get all these beds out because um, I'm planning on putting a polytunnel down here. I'm going to have a cabbage bed here, hopefully, uh, like a brassica cage on with some netting and stuff to grow some big cabbages. And um, we'll see where we'll go from there. I might do a couple more of these uh, for some extra leeks and onions. But I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet because there's quite a lot of work um, needs to go in to this plot. There's quite a lot of beds, but as you can see, they're, they're raised beds ish. Raised in the sense that there's timber in them. But that's all. There's no, they're not, they're not, they're not full, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'll probably just take all the timber out. I'll try and use as much as I can. There's some scaffolding boards there. I'll, pr I'll try and keep them in there. I think I'll probably use them um, in my polytunnel if I can. Over here, um, there's like a long, a long thin bed here with some huge big sleepers, as you can see. What I'm planning on doing here is I'm going to keep this section down here, all the way down here and up here. I'm going to probably join, the, join them on. I'm going to use that as my marrow bed. So I'll put me, I'll put my polytunnel over here, from here, like over there. We'll see how big we can get it. Um, and this section here I'm going to use as like a big runway. And I'm going to keep it as my marrow bed and grow marrow up here. There's another big bed here, as you can see. Nothing in them, like. Boarded off well, but there's no in them. So, I might I might keep all this side the way it is. I might fill this up, obviously weed it all, fill it up, and put a cover on. And I might use this for dahlias. We'll see. I've got my me, uh, me mate Mark coming down, he's gonna have a look. I need to do a bit of planning out, get it planned. But yeah, that's the idea. Um, to get polytunnel erected over here take the rest out um, and make me own from there sort of thing kind of wipe it all clear clear it all apart from these two sections here with the huge timbers in which I'm just going to use for a marrow what I'll probably end up doing is I grow a marrow from that end up here and I'll grow a marrow from that end up here they'll cross over somewhere and I'll let a marrow set on the end of each so I'm utilizing the space so I'll get two long marrow plants in this section here um, I've been lucky enough to be given some blue bins I've got another eight coming I think um, I'm going to do a section where I'll be growing some uh, carrots in them hopefully if I get sorted out yeah so wishes luck there's a lot of lot of work going on here beautiful day like sorry about the sunshine there but yeah it's a beautiful day this is my i'm right next door to the old plot i had there's where i had the dahlias last year and there's the other beds i've given them all a big dig over for the um the guy who's it is i've got one more to do there I've done all the rest well he's done some of them actually yeah, which is very nice of him yeah, so there's a lot going on. Stay posted, I'll, I'll keep you all informed of what's going on and um, I'll gradually show you how things are progressing. I'll come down and I'll take videos and I'll show you what's going on. But at the moment, I've got myself an allotment, which I'm over the moon with. I've finally got something I can spend my own money on uh, and get it nice the way I would like it. So yeah, I'm over the moon. Thanks for watching. I'll show you an update later on of what's gone on. 
Well, about 20 minutes, half an hour into starting, I've gotten a load of timbers out. I've started on this bed. Here I've been ripping out um, the frame and stuff like that, and disaster has struck. My bloody spade snapped. My new spade, I've only had it about three months. So, yes, I'm screwed now. I've got the heavy hammer, like, I'll be able to knock the rest of the frames out. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to do any more digging today. Well, definitely won't be able to do any more digging today. So, what I'll do is I'll get the rest of the frames out. Hopefully, if I can get them out, I might be able to use a fork to help us prize them out. I've got a hammer and stuff in the van. And uh, I'll, get, I'll get it cleared, ready so I can start putting down the weed suppressant. I get that down and then I can um, look at building a frame for the polytunnel. I might put a greenhouse on here yet, I'm not sure. I'll see how much room I've got. It's not a very big plot. Um, I did want a full plot. I would have took the full plot on and uh, done my own thing. As you can see, he had a greenhouse there and all the heavy winds have just completely smashed his greenhouse. Um, I've been all around picking up all the glass I've put them in these buckets. There was just, as you can see, it's on a bit of a skew whiff, a bit of a slant there. The, uh, the, the whole greenhouse was destroyed, basically. Um, all these heavy winds caused nothing but havoc. But yeah, th this is the polytunnel the guy's got here already on his half of the plot. And he's got a couple of other little polytunnels. It all needs sorting out, really. But uh, yeah, I wish I'd had a full... I wish I'd had a full... Um, a full plot so I could just do my own thing and I don't have to worry about other people being on the plot and standing on their toes sort of thing I know it might sound weird but a lot of people are a bit finicky can be a bit whingy on allotments I mean the guy who's um, got this side isn't like that he's spot on he's a nice bloke and um, the same with Basil the guy who used to let me use his I think he might let me use a bit more of his actually because I've got a bit more to do so, even though I'm a bit stuck for space on my new plot, um, Basil will probably let me use some of his as well, because his is a massive plot. Four, um, two, two big full plots came up on our um, site, as you can see. I'll just scan over there. It's not a very big site. I don't know how many's on here altogether. I think it's only about 12 or 15 plots altogether. And there's like I say I've been on the waiting list for a good five years now and two old gentlemen decided to pack in theirs so what they did was they split their two full plots uh, in a uh, four half plots so they can try and satisfy the, the list a bit better to get other people on uh, who are interested in growing and I wanted a full plot but they decided to take uh, take them and cut them in half and give them as halves so as I was pondering over which one to take um, the gentleman on this plot I'm on now said that he is going to give up half of his plot as well so as I'm friends with him stuff like that I said well I'll take over your half uh, the half of your plot um, so I don't have to keep moving all of my stuff over there I'm right next door to where I was so yeah and if you can't tell, I'm not very well. Um, I've had a bit of a cold over Christmas, as well as working. Like I've been grafting still, like an idiot. Um, it is the 28th of December now. It's only. Sorry about that. Camera cut off. Yeah, it's the 28th of December now. So, um, <clears throat> the New Year's coming soon. I've got all my onions started. I've got my show onions started. I've got my leeks in the greenhouse i'll take a little video of that when i get back i'll show you that'll be the next little segment of video i'll put on uh, yeah but everything's ticking over nicely i've got my cabbages started uh, my giant cabbages so yeah um i'm gonna crack on get this finished and the next time you see is i'll be in my greenhouse hello there i'm just here in my, uh, my greenhouse it's a bit of a pigsty at the minute it all needs sorting out still but um i'm struggling for time i'm really busy at the minute but I'll show you uh, my leeks quickly. <clears throat> I've got my leeks all potted up now in a um, two-liter pots. As you can see, I, I don't have 
hundreds. I think I've got a couple of dozen. Um, two, four, six. Yeah, I've got 24 here. I've also got some spares over there which I'm going to put, uh, put on into some uh, one litre air pots. I'm going to have a go with them. I've been giving them a little bit of um, extra light on a night. Just an hour. Uh, through these sun blasters. Don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, it's a sun blaster light. It's basically a, um, a T5 sun blaster light from exhibitiongarden.com uh, and it gives it a little bit of extra light because they're, they're struggling a bit and it's quite cold in here I've got a I've got a little thermostat here so as soon as the thermostat the temperature drops below the air uh, the 10 the heat will come on and heat the greenhouse up and vice versa when it gets really hot the heat will come uh, the final click on and that final blow um air in I've, these are my giant cabbages um i'm going to leave them in the pots just to stunt them a little bit because they're flying along now and um, they're happy in the greenhouse i'm going to uh, pot them on in a bit into some two liter pots with some just cheaply composting no fertilizers nothing i don't want to rush these they're just uh, happy ticking over the way they are hopefully i'll get a a decent cabbage out of them but yeah my leeks aren't looking too bad nice and short i've got three varieties of leeks here i've got some uh some yorkshire giants from paul rochester thanks very much paul i really appreciate those i've got some other giants from jeff moss crop and i've got some cumbrians at the back i think i've, I've only got six cumbrians i'm only trying six i think i might have a couple more somewhere the one over at the back there, and you can see he's a bear, he's dead, so he needs changing. Um, I've got some, sorry I'll show you again, I've got some heat underneath here in these two uh, single bar heaters. They basically heat up out and warm up the, the bench that all the, the leaks are on, just to give them a bit more heat yeah so that's it thanks for watching um i'm gonna put a couple of pictures on of a couple of leaks i've got at my shop and some of the onions i've got at my shop which are flying along i'm trying to push them to the maximum so you can see what um how big they are compared to these ones which are the same leaks they're absolutely colossal they're massive so the next thing you'll see is my uh my pictures of my leaks thanks for watching i'll see you again later